past simple and past perfect simple. Okay, let's make a difference between these two tenses. We use the past simple to talk about a finished action in the past, okay? That action started and finished in the past. And we use the past perfect simple to talk about the earlier past, okay? That means an action in the past that happened before another action in the past, ¿sí? Una acción en el pasado que pasó antes que otra acción en el pasado, ¿sí? Es una acci la acción más temprana o la más vieja, por así decirlo, okay? Look at the, this uh, chart. Here we have the present, the past simple, and the past perfect, okay? The past perfect is the earlier past, okay? It's the older action. Then comes the past simple, and then, well, it comes the present, yeah? Let's take a look at the grammar structure of the past perfect simple. For the past perfect simple, we always use the auxiliary verb have, okay, for the affirmative, for the affirmative form, and we use it for all the subjects. Uh, and for the negative form, we use the auxiliary verb hadn't or had not, okay? This is the contraction of had not. Let's take a look at examples. I have gone to London before the snowstorm hit. Okay. Um, another point that is very important is that you have to use the, um, the verb, the main verb, in the past participle. Okay. Um, you have to pay attention if the verb that you have to use it, it is regular or irregular. If it is regular, you have to add ed. Si es regular, le agregan ed. If it is a regular verb, you have to look uh, for the past participle of the irregular verbs in the third column of the list of irregular verbs. Okay? Here, you have a link of the list of irregular verbs uh, if, in case you don't have it. Okay? Um, in this case, we have the verb go that is irregular, so the past participle of go, if we check the list, is gone. You have or hadn't washed your car before the rain started. Okay, wash in this case, we have a regular verb, so we have to add ed. He, she, or it have or hadn't eaten in that restaurant before. We, your day, had or hadn't decided to study medicine when we or you or they were in primary school. Okay, so the structure you have to pay attention is this. You have to use the auxiliary verb, a, a affirmative or negative form, and the past participle of the verb. Pay attention to that. Now, let's take a look to the interrogative form of the past perfect simple, okay? As you know, there are two kinds of questions, yes-no questions or WH questions. Let's start with yes-no questions. We have an inversion here of um, the sentence. We, we will find that the auxiliary verb is at the very beginning of the sentence, okay? We have have, then the subject and then the verb in the past participle. Had I gone to London before the snowstorm hit? Okay, remember that the verb has to go in the past participle. If we have a yes no question, we have to answer yes or no. Yes, I had. Have you washed your car before the rain started? No, I hadn't. If I answer yes, have in the affirmative. If I answer no, had in the, ne in the negative, hadn't. Okay, hadn't or had not. Now, let's take a look to the WH questions. Uh, this is the same as the previous one, but the only difference is that you will find a WH word at the very beginning. So you want to encontrar un WH word al principio. See, what, when, where, why. How, yeah? What had he or she or it eaten in that restaurant? Ahora, cuando tengo preguntas con WH, yo no puedo responder yes o no. Ok, eso está mal. Tienen que responder con, con la información que me preguntan, ¿sí? ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué ha comido 
en ese restaurante, él o ella, yo en este caso voy a utilizar he. ¿Sí? ¿Qué es lo que ha comido él en ese restaurante? He had eaten oysters. Maybe that's why she, she, uh, he had had stomachache. Yeah? He had eaten oysters. Maybe that's why he had had stomachache. Él, capaz comió, él, él, él ha comido ostras. Capaz por eso es que se siente mal de la panza, que tiene dolor de estómago. ¿Sí? Y como me preguntan en pasado perfecto, simple, yo respondo en pasado perfecto, simple. When have they, vamos a tomar el sujeto they, uy, sujeto they, when had they decided that they wanted to study medicine at the university? They had decided, again, past perfect, they had decided that they wanted to study medicine years ago. ¿Sí? Preguntan en pasado perfecto, responden en pasado perfecto. Now, uh, in the past perfect, we use some adverbs, ¿ok? Like already, not yet, like the present perfect simple, ¿ok? We place adverbs between the auxiliary verb and the main verb. For example, he had already done this trip before. ¿Sí? Tenemos el adverbio entre el auxiliar y el verbo principal. Now, how do we know when we have to use the past simple or the past perfect simple? Well, uh, first of all, there are some words like before and after that help us to interpret and comprehend when we have to use the past simple or the past perfect simple. You have to think, just think, which action is the oldest? Which action did the person do first? ¿Sí? Acá, esto tiene que ver con un tema de interpretación de la oración, leer bien la oración, interpretarla, comprenderla. ¿sí? Y ustedes tienen que pensar, eh, ¿cuál de las dos acciones que a mí me presentan en la oración es la más antigua? ¿Cuál es la que se hizo primero? ¿Cuál es la que esa persona hizo primero? ¿Ok? For example, vamos a tener que completar estas oraciones con pasado simple y pasado perfecto. Ahora, ¿dónde coloco una o la otra? ¿Sí? I, tengo el verbo learn, I learn English before I go to school, to London. ¿Sí? Bueno. ¿Qué es lo que hice primero? ¿Sí? Acá tenemos la palabra antes. ¿Sí? Antes. Entonces, yo aprender inglés antes de ir a Londres. Bueno, ¿qué es lo que hice primero? Yo lo primero que hice fue aprender inglés, ¿sí? Y después me fui a Londres. Entonces, ¿cuál es la acción más antigua? Aprender. Entonces, este learn va a tener que estar en pasado perfecto. Have learned. I have learned English before. Y la acción más nueva, ¿sí? En pasado. I had learned English before I went to London. She arrived, llegar, ¿sí? after the football match, finish, terminar. Ella llegar después de que el partido de fútbol termina. ¿Qué pasó primero? Ella llegó o el partido de fútbol terminó. El partido de fútbol terminó. Entonces, este finish va a tener que estar en pasado perfecto. Had finished. And the other in past simple. She arrived after the football match had finished. ¿Sí? Entonces entra acá en juego la interpretación y la, eh, la comprensión de ustedes, donde ustedes van a tener que interpretar eh, y comprender qué acción eh, pasó primero y cuál es la que pasó después. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es la acción más antigua? ¿Ya? Excelente.